so you heard about this bald guy with no nose that runs around yelling about a cadaver who knew I don't know what that guy is. Uh, it's uh, it's not me secretly. I'm I'm not that guy. That's not, I'm, I'm not that guy. Hey guys, I'm about to test by Kyle. Kind of we're back once again taking a look at how to make glasses. We're modeling glasses today. Um, um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag a box over top of our cube and our lamp and our camera. Might as well get rid of it. We're not rendering anything today. We're just modeling. So let's go ahead and get rid of all that. Hit Shift A and we're gonna search for a Taurus. And then um, we're going to go ahead and open this up, open the torus up, not the uh, star sign, just the, you know, the circle. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn the major segments to 64 and the minor segments to 64. Um, and we're going to go ahead and turn the minor radius to 0 0.05 for a nice little, you know, circular rim kind of Harry Potter looking glasses. Um, hit G, Z, G, Y, and then maybe like, I think it's two. Yeah, hit two. Um, and then we'll hit G, Shift D to duplicate this, and then G, Y, negative 4. There we go. So now we have a nice little space there. That's too spaced out, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually uh, move them inwards a little bit. So I'm just going to G, Y, 0.5, and then G, Y, 0.5, negative. Yeah, okay, that looks a little bit better. Nice. Um, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift A, and we're going to search for a uh, cylinder. And what we're going to do with the cylinder is we're going to, you guessed it, turn the vertices up to 64 and then turn the radius to, you guessed it, 0 0.05. Um, hit R, Y, or R, X, sorry, and then 90 on our numpad. So 90 on our numpad. So you can rotate that 90 degrees on the X axis. Left click to confirm that movement and then hit S, X, oops, sorry, S, Y to scale that on the Y axis. And then we're going to go ahead and zoom in here so we can see um, where this kind of touches. So about there and then we'll scale these little pieces inwards in a second but for now that'll be fine so just s y until it um looks uh, a bit good like that which looks nice i'm gonna go ahead and uh, click and drag a box over top of all three of these and then go to object shade smooth and then now we're, what we need to do for the um this little piece in the middle here we're gonna go ahead and add some loop cuts hit tab hit tab to go into edit mode and then go to, to the left hand side and hit this little loop cut button um and we're going to turn the number of cuts up to about 10 and then just click once in there i will do more than 10 actually we'll do like let's do 20 we'll do 20 um nice and once we have that done i'm gonna go ahead and grab the selection tool here turn on x-ray mode over in the right hand top corner of my screen so we can see the vertices inside of the um circle part of the glasses click and drag a box over top of all of those same thing over here click and drag a box over top of all of those and then hit, oh, hold on shift while you do that, my mistake. Hold on shift to make sure you select more than one thing. Hit S to scale these bad boys. Actually, we're going to, we have to do something first. We need to go up to the, to the middle. And then we're going to turn this to individual origins instead of median point. Boom. Right there. Nice. With that done, we're going to go ahead and grab a banana float. Actually, before we do that, we're going to just hit S on our keyboard to scale these inwards like that. There we go. And we do the same thing with these. So we'll grab all these uh, vertices, vertices right here. And then hold down shift, select all these. And then we'll hit S to scale. Oops, hit S to scale these in slightly like that. So now we have a nice little, um, a nice little, uh, you know, gr not gradient. What was I saying? A nice little uh, slope into the glasses, which looks very, very nice. Now with the rest of this, what I want to do is I want to hit tab to go into edit mode. And then we're going to hit, uh, what is it? Uh, seven or three at three hit three on our keyboard on our numpad sorry um and i'm going to make sure we have on x-ray once again so we can grab all the vertices here instead of just the ones in the front um i'm gonna hit o on my keyboard so it turns on proportional editing which means it's gonna uh, when we select these um vertices in the middle here and hit g z you can see it moves everything up but i'm gonna scroll my mouse wheel inwards a little bit because i don't want to grab all of that i just want to grab a little tiny bit of it so just these pieces here i just want to make a nice little bridge for the uh for the nose to rest on right there which is kind of cool i'm actually going to pull it up too so hit g um z no no sorry g x move it upwards like that just slightly just a little tiny bit there we go so now if we hit um so now if we hit uh, three you can see that it goes up a little bit and that's a nice little arc to it little arch which looks pretty cool um now the next thing we need to do is i want to rotate these glasses so they're not like you know laying down um, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, a drag box over top of all of these, then hit R, X, or sorry, R, Y, and then hit uh, 9, 0 on our numpad to left and left click to confirm that. Nice. So you can see we have these glasses. They're standing up. They look good. 
and that is that. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Shift A, and we'll search for another cylinder. Um, you can see it still has the same settings from before, which is good. What we're going to do is hit R um, Y R Y to rotate on the Y axis, and then hit nine zero um, to rotate them ninety degrees on the Y axis. Hit S Y sorry X X to scale these on the X axis, and you can see where this is probably going to go. I'm going to make these nice little. Uh, these nice little branches, I guess, is what you would call them. <laughs> Make these nice branches for the um, for the glasses. Hit uh, G Y, and then we're gonna uh, what is it? Two point five, two point five. Yep, two point five, two point five on our numpad. Then hit G um, X to move them backwards. Um, this is not long enough, so we're gonna hit uh, S X once again, scale them out, and then G X to move them like that. Nice, cool. Um, what we're going to do with these is like, what are they called? Arms? I think those are the arms of the glasses. What do people call these? I don't even know. I'm not sure. I mean, these are the lenses, the frames, you know what I mean? What are, the, what are these, what are these pieces called? The arms, the legs? What are these? I don't know. Um, anyway, we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and maybe that's a little, a little too long. Scale it in a little bit. And I'm going to make these nice little, um, the nice little, uh, we'll do the arc for this first. We'll do the arc for this. Um, okay. So what we're going to do, hit tab to go into edit mode and then we'll add some loop cuts. I'm going to add maybe 40 to this. 40, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to grab the last keyframes, the, the last keyframes, the last vertices, sorry. Um, go back to select tool up here. Grab the last vertices, but make sure x-ray mode is on. So we grab all of them, even the ones in the back there. Um, I'm going to make sure proportional editing is still on. Hit 1 on my numpad to go to the side view. I mean, it, 1 is the front view, but it's the side view this time because, you know, the glasses are turned sideways. Um, hit to G, X, and I'm, I'm actually going gonna, gonna to change the slope that we have here. I'm going to change the slope to round, I think. No, not round. Uh, which one's sharp? Yeah, that's the one. All right, so I'm going to scroll my mouse wheel up a little bit, and we will kind of have that nice little arc downwards that glasses have. Just a slight one, nothing too crazy. Um, and then we're going to also rotate this, so it's not like looking weird like that. I'm going to rotate. Um, ooh, that's maybe it's maybe we rotate it first. Yeah, ro let's rotate it like this, and then we'll pull it downwards. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Nice. I like that little arc that it has going up there, too. That looks pretty cool. Nice. With that done, I'm going to go ahead and turn proportional editing off by hitting this little button up here or tapping O on my keyboard once again. Then hitting uh, R, Y and kind of rotating that little end piece there. Um, and then I'm going to actually turn proportional editing back on for a second and hit S to scale this piece up like this. And we're also going to make this thinner. So hit S, uh, S, Y like that. Make it skinnier because these, these pieces are always skinny, I feel. Um, and then I'm going to actually hit tab to go back into edit mode, hit S Y and scale this end piece back out a little bit. Cause I usually see these pieces are a little frayed out in the ends uh, of glasses there. Um, so with that done, I'm going to hit E to extrude S to scale it down and then hit G and then oop, turn proportional editing off, hit G and then, uh, G and then Y to pull it out a little bit just so it has a nice little, um, piece come up oh, that is not the right direction at all and that's not what i meant to do what, what is it oh no, sorry it's x so it g and then double tap x and then it'll move it down like that and then the g and then double tap z and then to move it out i just want to get a nice little rounded piece there on the end that might be a little bit too far pull that back in a little bit there we go nice cool so what we're gonna, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do a couple things go to object shade smooth and we can go ahead and add a modifier to this Add modifier subdivision surface, and then it'll subdivide that a little bit so it doesn't look as uh, as as crazy. Um, now I do want to go ahead and see you see how you see these little weird ridges here. Uh, we can fix this really easily by going ahead and grabbing all of these vertices. Hit delete vertices, and then we will um, hold down Shift and Alt to grab the loop cut of this, the loop of this. Then hit F to create a face. And then you can see it looks it looks a slightly better now. But what we're going to do is I'm going to scale this inwards like that. And then we'll hit E to extrude it once again. And then S to scale that inwards. And then move it a little inwards like that. There we go. And it looks a lot, lot less um, lot less strange there. And looks a little bit more rounded off. I'm going to go ahead and actually... Um, ooh, no, not simple. No, turn it back. All right, I'm going to put this on two for now, perhaps... Something like that. I might go ahead and actually um, take these vertices here. And, oop. No, that's not what I want to do. And maybe rotate them like that. Oh, that might look cool. Anyway, let's grab the uh, brush tool. Hit C on my keyboard. And I'll just um, 
grab all those pieces there. And I kind of want to rotate this. So it R, X, like that. Oh, not, not R, right. R and double tap, X, R, double tap, Y. Oh, yeah, kind of point them out like that. Looks cool. I like that a lot. Okay, nice. With this little piece in the center, I'm going to grab all of these and then pull it out a little bit. So G, double tap, Z. Oh, it looks cool. I like the way it comes out like that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Um, now, with this done, I'm going to go ahead and I think we have a little bit too many um, loop cuts. Not loop cuts. Uh, a little bit too many subsurf uh, levels here. So I'm going to put that back to one. Um, I don't want this to be too like high poly craziness. Um, all right. Now, nice. With that done, I'm going to hit Shift A and we're going to search for a cube. Hit S to scale that inwards a little bit. And then G, Y to move this bad boy over. Like that. Nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, hit period on my keyboard so I can zoom into that a little easier without having to, you know, mess around with the uh, zoom levels. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit S to scale it down a little bit more. And then I'm going to kind of just round this off a little bit, but I don't want to make it too round. So um, we'll use the bevel tool here. So we'll use uh, the, the, the add modifier and then we'll go to uh, bevel. There we go. I'll turn the amount up a little bit and the segments up as well. Make sure I turn object uh, shade smooth. Nice. Um, once that's done, I want to kind of hit G, Y to move it over a little bit. And then hit Shift D and we'll duplicate this. Hit G, X. Move it over like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Tab, you go to Edit Mode, and grab these two vertices here. And hit G, X to kind of scale them, to kind of move them backwards like that. And then I'll do the same thing with this, but um, a little a little less. So I'll grab these two, hit G, um, G, X, and then grab this, and then G, X, move it in like that. Yeah, I just want a little bit of a gap there so we can kind of rotate these. Now, if I hit 7 on my keyboard, on my numpad, sorry, you can see the top facing view. Now, I want this origin point, the little orange pivot point, I want this to be up at the hinge. So this is going to be like the hinge of the glasses. I'm going to hit tab and hit A to select everything. Then hit G to move that little piece right there on the tip of that edge right there um, and then I'm going to hit tab to go out of edit mode and hit G to put that right back where it was um, and then we can go ahead and now you can see when we hit RZ it kind of moves like that and it kind of you know goes in line I'm going to move it maybe about there actually yeah there we go so then it'll, the glasses will stop there and then that'll be nice and cool now you can have a, a larger hinge here you can you know, pull this back like like that you can pull this inwards like that as well more for a little bit more there you go and it'll stop there that was pretty cool i like that a lot now what i want to do is we need to um i'm, I'm, I'm going to select this piece and hit h to hide it real quick and we need to fix this piece uh, up here as well so i'm going to go ahead and grab this face like this hit e to extrude there you go and then uh there we go that's all i'm going to do to that that's literally all that i'm going to do then hit alt h unhide that and then we can uh grab this little piece of the glasses here Hit, uh, hold on shift, select this piece here, control P, set parent two, and now we move this, the, uh, the glasses will move, the, the little, you know, glasses legs will move, will move with us when we rotate that, just like that, which looks pretty darn cool. Now, I don't, I, I don't think I like this as much as I did five minutes ago. Um, we're gonna go ahead and redo this, because I don't like the way this is anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab, um, I'm gonna grab the x-ray tool, make sure the x-ray tool is on. I'm gonna grab all these vertices here on the edge and undo this because this is this is kind of modeled poorly. Let's go ahead and um, turn back on, turn off X-ray mode. Sorry, so so we can see easier. I'm going to grab these vertices here by um, hitting uh, C and selecting all these bad boys here, just in a little line like that, in a little circle. Um, then hit E to extrude these, kind of scale them in like that. G. Uh, X, G, Z, and then we'll hit period to zoom into this a little easier, um, G, X, there we go, and then what we'll do to finish this off, hit F to create that little face there, and then that looks much better, there we go, nice, cool, um, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing before we duplicate this to the other side here, I'm going to uh, hit shift A, and we're going to search for an icosphere, and I'm going to... I'll leave the subdivisions on two um, with uh, object shade smooth. And then we can just scale this bad boy down by hitting S and then hit G Y to move it over. Hit period to go into the um, to zoom in a little bit and then hit G X to kind of move that in. We might add one subdivision surface. Yeah, that looks fine. 
Uh, okay, so we have a little ball here for the little hinge, which looks pretty cool. I think it looks sweet. I like that. Um, so then what we'll do is when, we, oh, when this rotates, it'll rotate like that. Now we do need to be a little more careful of how big this circle is. Like that. So when it closes, I don't want to see the ball. So we'll move that inwards like that. And there we go. Cool. Okay. So I'm actually going to uh, undo the parenting between these two by hitting Alt P and selecting both of them. What we're going to do is I'm going to um, make the ball the the origin. So I'm going to hold on Shift, select both of these, then select the ball afterwards. So hold on Shift, make sure you select this piece. Hold on Shift, select that piece. Hold on Shift, select the ball, and then hit Control P, set uh, parent two, and then we'll select the ball, and we can rotate this, which looks a lot better and we can close it further and it just makes a lot more sense so there we go nice that looks very very cool um and nothing's clipping nothing's looking weird that looks awesome nice uh with that done i'm gonna hold down shift select down select all these pieces that we need on the other side um hit shift d hit shift there we go d to duplicate them and then hit s uh and then what is it s y um negative one to flip them and then we're going to go ahead and uh, I think this is G Y 2.5 to get back in the center. And then G Y 2.5 negative. So make sure you get the negative sign. Um, there you go. You can also open up this tab here and then just change the X location. And then instead of and just just take away the negative sign in front of here. You can just take the, take the negative sign away and then it'll jump. Uh, oh, not not that one. This one over here. So make sure you put the negative sign in front of this. It's it's freaking me out because the glasses are rotated. But on the Y value, hit, just put a negative sign in front of it, and then it'll just pop to the other side. So that's what that's another way you can do that. Nice. So because these are duplicated, it didn't uh, it didn't uh, mess anything up. Now you can see uh, we can rotate uh, this piece, and if I grab that ball there, I can we can rotate this piece. And that looks very nice, very nice, very nice. Now with the glasses, um, with the glasses uh, are done, which I think look very, very cool. So what we're gonna do is I want to do one last thing, and we'll just give them a nice little material real quick. So um, I'm also going to parent everything to this little middle piece here. So um, drag a box over top of everything. Hold down Shift, select this little piece last. Hit uh, Control P, set parent to object, and then. Oh, not object. It's going to mess up the other parents that we have. So set parent to object, keep transform. And then you can go ahead and grab this right there. There you go. And these should still work when you move the ball up oh, when the when you move the when you move. Okay, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do this in a different way. So what we're gonna do is you can't motorcycle outside. Oh my gosh, ghost riders outside my apartment. That's crazy. Um, what we're gonna have to do instead of parenting everything like that, because these are already parented, you cannot parent two things. Um, to one object so this ball these things are being parented to the ball and they're also being parented to this so what we're going to do is we're going to select the ball this piece and the rims so once again the ball this piece and the rims and then we'll select that piece hit control p keep object um, transform and then when we select the ball this time and we should still be able to rotate this there we go so um that is uh that's how you fix that up and we can still grab this hit g and move everything at the same time and rotate everything looks good we're going to drag a box over top of everything here. Um, go to the modifiers tab. Open this up. Hit the little modifier. Hit the little, not modifier tab, the material tab. Sorry. Hit this little material here. We're going to call this Harry Potter. Nice. Um, and we're, <laughs> we're going to change the, the uh, a couple of things here. So I'm going to turn my uh, material mode on here. Um, and we're going to turn the base color to a nice little goldish color like that. Something like that. And then we're going to turn the metallic up. A little bit, a wee bit, um, the specular up, roughness down a bit. There we go. And then with everything else selected, which um, we do not have anymore, with everything selected, make sure you select this little piece in the middle last because that's the piece of materials on. Hit Control L and link materials. And now, now when we go back to the material tab, you can see everything has been linked to the same um, object. Now with this, I think I want to maybe not make these gold. We'll make them silver instead. Add a little bit of blue to it. To it, to it. And then we'll drop the colors down, make them black like that, which looks really pretty cool if you do say so myself. So that there you go. There's a nice pair of glasses we've just created here. Um, they look really, really cool. I'm gonna make really quickly add a little lamp. Um, 
But yeah, that's uh, that's basically how you make glasses in blunt. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye bye. <laughs> you actually thought it was over. All right, let's do the last thing that I want to do, which is basically the glass inside of the frames. Let's go ahead and actually um, hit Shift A, and we'll search for a circle. Oh, let's go back to the solid viewport shading and turn my overlays on so you can see. Um, and we're going to turn the vertices um, to, we'll, we'll put them on 64 just because the rims are 64. And I don't want any like, you know, rough edges there. Um, now I'm going to turn this to Ingon as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit new for the material. Turn um, material, uh, sorry, rendered viewport shading on. And we'll scroll all the way down here, and then we will turn the blend mode from opaque to alpha clip, or is it hash? I can't remember which one it is. It's alpha clip or alpha hash. Turn screen space reflection on, and then we'll turn shadow mode off as well, so that doesn't like become an issue. Um, and then we will go ahead and scroll on up here to um, the main tab, and then go to screen space reflections, click that on, and then go to refraction, click that on, and then we'll go down, um, and we'll change this from principal BSDF to glass. And then uh, there we go. And now you can see we have a nice little uh, glass thing going on here. I'm going to turn the roughness down. Um, there we go. And then hit RX, uh, not RX, sorry, RY 90. And then hit GX um, 2, no, GY. I am so all over the place with the Ys and Xs today. Um, GY 2. Point, uh, oh no, GY, was it? It's not 2. GY 1.5. There we go. GY 1.5. That looks good. And then we'll hit Shift D, duplicate this, G, Y. Actually, we'll do uh, Alt G to clear the, ro clear the mo movement. Then hit G, Y, 1.5, negative on your uh, on your numpad. And you can see there, now we have the glasses. I wanted to make it a little bit more blurred. There you go. So now we have that nice looking, uh, that nice looking foggy glass up in there. You can make it super foggy, you know, super high prescription. This person really needs glasses. Never take them off can't see anything at all and then we can make them a little less you know a little less blurred there you go um reading glasses there you go nice so um really quickly we need to parent these as well so let's go ahead and select uh this piece of glass hold on shift select that piece of glass and then select the little piece in the middle here Control p um uh set parent to object and now when we hit g to move this it will move with us there we go so that is how we finish up our glasses ladies and gentlemen Hope you learned something new today. Like I said, you can also tint them if you want just by um, adding some color to these. So if you want to make like red glasses, you know, the Robert Downey Jr. vibes, you can do that as well. But uh, yeah, but I'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next uh, tutorial for real this time. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.